What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John, and I watched the first episode of the CW DC show, Superman and Lois. Now let me start off by saying this, I absolutely hate the CW DC shows. I think, literally, all of them are complete garbage. The Flash is trash, see, that rhymes, so it must be right. Supergirl is trash. Batwoman is just the worst. Legends of Tomorrow, Black Lightning, all complete trash. With all of these shows, they're poorly, cheaply made, the CGI looks awful, the writing is lazy, the character development is piss poor. Literally, if you miss one season, you're lost for the entire Arrowverse. When you have amazing incredible shows like daredevil and wandavision that set the gold standard for superhero shows you're gonna know when something's complete and utter trash and that's where the arrowverse comes in so naturally when the cw announced their 350th show superman and lois i wasn't even gonna give it the light of day but then the reviews came in and people were surprisingly liking it and saying that it was not trash, it was actually pretty good. So I sat down, opened the CW app, and watched this thing. And what did I think? Well guys, for the first time ever, I actually like a CW DC show. This show, at least the first episode, only the pilot has been released, so the show might be trash after the second episode, who knows. But for right now, this show is not trash. It's actually pretty good. I am pleasantly surprised with how good this is. First, let's start off with Tyler Hoechlin, I think his name is. Now, when I first saw him in Supergirl, I just did not like him. He did not look like Superman to me with that trash suit. But here, in his own solo show, he gets to show his acting chops, and he acts like Superman, and he kind of kills it, actually. And I mean, look at the suit right here. Look how beautiful this suit is. Elizabeth Tullock, I think that's how you say her name, she plays a really good Lois Lane. She gives off that strong, independent energy that you'd recognize with a Lois Lane. The episode is just shot really well. The action is good, and the CGI is really good, surprisingly. Because in the past Arrowverse shows, the CGI has been horrendous. It looked like something out of a PS2 cutscene. But here, you can tell that the CW actually put money into the special effects and CGI. It looks really good and really convincing. I don't think there was one scene that threw me off and made me think that there was bad CGI. It all looked pretty good and convincing. The show's style and tone works. It feels very cinematic. The music is really good, and the story is surprisingly well written. And can we talk about that awesome opening scene where Superman wears his classic 1930s action comic suit? It was so clever how the show did it, because Ma Kent wouldn't just make the modified special clean finished version of the Superman suit she would use what she had cloth and make a suit like this it was just a really great homage and I love seeing the suit so getting back to the story it's actually really compelling Clark Kent has trouble balancing his home and superhero life he's a father he's married but he's not there for his family because he has to be Superman saving the world I think that's a very interesting dynamic, very interesting story, and it's executed quite well in this episode. And again, Tyler Hoechlin really sold me as Superman, and he does a really good job. And if you're one of those people who don't like Henry Cavill's DCEU Superman because of his character, well, look no further than Tyler Hoechlin, because, you know, bad things happen to him, but he still remains optimistic and acts like Superman all the time. Tyler Hoechlin very much is the classic Superman. He is my third favorite Superman. Christopher Reeve is number one, obviously. Henry Cavill is second, and then we have Tyler Hoechlin. 
Christopher Reeve will always be the definitive and iconic Superman. He is the Superman. End of story. No debate. But Tyler Hoechlin really surprised me, and there are other TV Superman, but this is my third favorite Superman. He's just really good. So let me know in the comments down below, Superman and Lois, did you see it? What did you think of Tyler Hoechlin's Superman? Were you one of those people who hated the Arrowverse but actually liked this show? Because there are a lot of people who are reviewing this who hate the Arrowverse but then surprisingly like the show. I surprisingly like the show. I'm going to be watching it every Tuesday or Wednesday whenever it comes out the next day on the CW app. And if you guys want me to review the rest of the episodes, just let me know in the comments down below. You know, if you watch my reviews, then I will make them. But yeah, I'm invested in the show so far. I like it. Hopefully it won't be trash later down the line because once it is, I'm just going to stop watching it. But, uh, you know, I'm optimistic. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to join the Superboys family. You'd be supporting the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. So that will be all for me, and remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.